Now we're going to be doing misalignments on nose pads. Nose pad misalignments on patients, how to identify and how to correct. So the first misalignment that we're going to be working on is going to be frontal nose pad misalignment. I put the glasses on the patient so or the patient comes into the optical and what I see from the front view because the frontal nose pad, you know, you see it from the front. What I see is that Right here on the nose pads, they're coming out too much and they're supposed to only be showing one millimeter. That's the first thing. Also, I see that they are not aligned with the actual nose. What they are doing is they're pressing the bottom part of the nose pad is pressing on the nose of the patient. That means that it's going to probably leave a red mark, a dent, and it's going to be um, hurting the patient. So in order to fix this, we're going to be using our nose pad pliers. Nose, nose, nose pad pliers, and the square section of it is going to go on the metal portion right here, and the flat side on the flat side of the nose pad, like this. So what I'm gonna do now is I am just going to follow, follow the movement of a chicken wing. So a chicken wing would be from sideways. It would be. Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that movement. I'm gonna press it. I'm gonna hold it tight with my other hand on the frame front, and I'm gonna hold it tight here. What I'm gonna do, the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move out like this. I am not gonna be doing any more adjustment to this frame. I am just gonna be doing the frontal nose pad angle adjustment to this misalignment. So like this. And now I take it up and I will do the same thing to the other side. So, sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to hold it here. And I'm going to move out. Like this. Hold it tight. And just move out. Chicken wing movement like this. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna put it on the patient again. Okay. So I see that now it's a lot better. I'm looking at it, I still see some, but I don't see as much. I am actually going to do just a little bit more frontal angle. Just a little bit more, since our patient's nose is a little bit, you know, plasticky. Okay, so I'm noticing as well if it only shows more or less one millimeter. No, no, not more or less one millimeter. You know, and then I'm gonna place it here, and now I notice that it is flatter on the nose. Okay, so now it's not digging in on the bottom or on the top. It's just in the middle, distributing the weight around uh, the nose properly. That is frontal nose pad mis misalignment corrected. The next misalignment, nose pad misalignment, we're going to be looking at is going to be the vertical, no vertical nose pad misalignment. So with the vertical nose pad misalignment, we're talking about the vertex. We're talking about how far we need to make, how far or close up we need to make the actual frame front from the nose pads. Okay, from the the phrase the frame front from the pay the patient's face. They may need this. They may need a little bit of vertex room. Maybe if their eyelash is touching, or to you know um for prescription purposes. So. We could do that. Uh, we're gonna get into it in a little bit. So I put, uh, the patient is wearing this and I see that one side of the lens is actually more inwards than the other side of the lens. On this side of the lens, the, the actual frame front on this side, it's coming out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a little bit of, I'm gonna open it up just a little bit so we get both sides the same. 
and I am gonna be using my my chain link nose plier to adjust the guard arm of the actual frame so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do two movements if I can the first movement is going to be spreading this part out the back part of the guard arm so I'm just gonna be spreading it out like this so now it's a little bit more further and then the other part is going to be through the starting portion of the guard arm so i'm going to be holding it like this and i'm just going to be stretching it out like this i'm going to be um checking my work okay so i'm going to move it just a little bit more the second part of the guard arm the second portion and then i'm going to stretch out the one that we Move a second. Like this and like this. Okay. So now they're looking more or less the same. Now they both have more vertex. Okay. And I'm going to put it on the patient. And they're both more or less on the same length or have the same vertex from the patient's face and the frame front okay so let me do a little bit of adjusting here so i make them even more even just a little bit here and um okay i'm gonna close it a little bit here with my finger i'm touching it just slightly with my finger just a little bit it's it's best to use your actual uh, pliers your actual nose Access and then chain link nose pliers. Um, I do have to do a little bit more adjusting. I am gonna come in with my nose pad plier. I am gonna be twisting it just a little bit so it resembles the other one. But this misalignment, we're only talking about the vertical. Okay, the vertical nose pad misalignment, which is the length, the length. Just like a, a, a person that is guiding airplanes, it's the length of the actual guard arm, okay? From the face front, face, face of the patient to the frame front, okay? That is vertical nose pad misalignment. The last nose pad misalignment is going to be splay, okay? Splay would be whether the, the, the nose pad is too far away from the actual nose of the frame or two inwards okay so it's this movement like a beauty queen moving her hand or waving at the people at her fans so all right i put the glasses on the patient or the patient comes into the into the optical and what i notice is that the nose pads are not evenly distributed on the nose I noticed that the side of the nose, but the inside, the, t the side that is temporal in the nose pad, it's the only one that is pressing against the nose. That means that it's going to leave a dent where it's touching, which is in the, in the, in the, in the center portion, in the middle part of it, and then it's going to create a shadow on the back part, okay? Gonna be hurting the patient on the front side and it's gonna be creating the shadow on the back side so in order to correct this misalignment what i'm gonna be using i'm gonna be using the nose pad plier and i'm probably gonna be using a little bit our chain link link nose plier okay because it's a little bit close to the lens and i don't think i could get all the way in it no no so i'm gonna start off with a chain link nose plier and what I'm going to do is, I am going to just move it, move it frontward just a little bit, just like that. And on this side too. So, just like that. Okay. Just enough room so I could put my nose pad plier to work. So, I'm going to get it like this and I'm going to twist it. I'm gonna twist it like so, okay? 
okay i'm not gonna do any other adjustments i am just going to twist it in. that is all Now I'm gonna put it on the patient's nose and now it's much better. Now I can see that the center of the actual nose pad it's on the actual on the actual nose, pressing on the nose, not the front or the back, it's all of it together. What I do notice on this specific um pair of lenses is that it does need it needs a little bit of front angle. Okay, and it's a little bit of front angle and a little bit more it's a little bit more yeah it does need a little bit of front angle but we're not gonna do it on this video front angle is it was the first video okay but it would help to have a little bit more frontal angle okay but this was splay okay this was splay pad misalignment 